Okay, here on the uh, Peace Slacks blog interview with the Savage Triplets uh, from Maryville Prep, and they're coming on to talk to us about their recent big news, Lauren, and your sisters are really big in lacrosse and have been playing for quite some time that uh, we've been told through the Red Shirts program, the club program, they've told us a lot of great things about you ladies, and first, thanks for coming on the show today. Oh, we're looking forward to it. What's the mindset for you three right now with the whole pandemic and how's everything going so far with everything back to school um i just think um you kind of have to take the best out of a situation so we're just going to keep working hard and take advantage of what we can do um you can't control um like there's only certain things you can control so you um you do the things you can control and you let everything else play its course so i think just continuing to work hard and you know make the best out of the situation yeah, we're grateful to be able to play sports like now, kind of on the down low, but we're still able to do it and we're really happy to be able to do that. Now, how's it, the fact that you guys are both, all three of you have been playing the game together for how long? Um, how old were we? Were we seven? I think. You were in yeah. first grade. So like 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's been forever. I mean, I think we're just we're so used to playing each, with each other. Like we're no, like we know what we're going to do, like the other, what the other one's going to do on the field. And it's kind of like, yeah, we're really very, comfortable playing yeah, with we're each other. really comfortable playing with each other. We're playing together. Mm -hmm. uh, Courtney and at Lauren, you both have committed to play lacrosse at the collegiate level. And uh, just wanted to get your thoughts and getting that, that whole recruiting process taken care of and how's it feel to, have that in the back burner now and you can focus on uh, finishing out your senior year. Uh, it feels really good to mm -hmm. be done with the process. Um, we worked really hard to get where we are and I'm just really happy where with both of us have ended up. Yeah, I think that we've been um, working towards this in recruiting for probably two to three years, just trying to expose ourselves to different coaches and just mm -hmm. working on expanding our game and just trying to get better every day. So it it feels really good to know like hard work pays off. And Alex, what's what's uh, I know you've been playing the game and are planning to not play lacrosse in college, but where are you planning to attend college if that's been decided? And uh, what's the plan for you? Well, I just decided that I didn't want to commit to college lacrosse just because it's such a time commitment and mm -hmm. I really feel, I have a goal of going to medical school so that's kind of my main focus like once I get to college and I've started looking at colleges but I don't know where I will be applying yet but I'm just starting to get into that now that I'm a junior. Awesome and uh, you guys com committed to some pretty good schools uh, UPenn for you Courtney and uh, 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 James Madison for you, Lauren, uh, just obviously <laughs> two great programs. James, you coming off a, a national championship a couple years ago. That's got to be enticing for you. And also UPenn playing up in Philly, Courtney, it's got to be uh, exciting. And the way that program's been building the last couple of years, uh, you guys picked some really good schools. Um, just uh, also wanted to get your thoughts on what do you guys like to do for fun outside of lacrosse besides playing and school? And what do you guys enjoy doing the most? Um, I do a lot of running. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like a runner type mm -hmm. person. So mm -hmm. I would say like, I'm part of our cross country and track teams for school. So I would say I try to run like six to seven days a week. Um, but I also just love being around my friends and, um, yeah, just being around people. I love people, so. Yeah, um, well, we all do indoor track together, so that's, like, one way we connect. We all run on the same team for Maryville. And then Alex and I also play soccer together at Maryville. So it's another way we connect out, outside of lacrosse. That's great. And uh, just uh, I think it's awesome that you guys have, again, committed to some pretty good schools and uh, – you play for Maryville, and which is in the 
IAAM and also for the Red Shirts Club program, that which is just has been growing the girls game in the last couple of years. Just talk about playing for the Red Shirts and Coach Kennedy and how you guys have uh, basically gotten to where you are now by playing for the Red Shirts and uh, a club team that is trying to grow the, f- the female sides. It's been a club that's helped men and the boys side for many years, but for girls like yourselves, triplets, uh, two of you going to D1 schools and you're not playing for like the M and Ds and the TLCs, you guys are getting there through with the red shirts and just talk about that and uh, playing for the red shirts. Um, I think coach Dave has just really taught us to be creative. I think that, is what makes our team in general unique is we are doing we're doing things that a lot of people haven't really seen in the girls game like Courtney she's like probably one of the most creative players I've seen she Mm -hmm. constantly like she'll do like a behind the back fake or like she did like a twizzler fake so I just think incorporating like creativeness into our game is something that coach Dave has always encouraged and it's kind of gotten us where we are today I would say. Yeah, I also think that um, our team is great for exposure because we do play the top teams, but all of our plays kind of include everyone. And we really, I think our team works well together as a team. So I think Red Shirts is just a great club to like, for people to have exposure to co- college coaches. Because I know in the in, um, last fall, our team had a lot of exposure to college coaches. Like there were a ton on our sideline. So I think Coach Dave did a really good job of getting close. Yeah, to Coach sideline. Dave has been really supportive throughout the recruiting process, just um, talking to coaches for us and really just like helping us with what we need to do. So he's definitely gotten us to where we are today. He always encourages us to try something new. Don't be afraid to try something just because you think you might not execute it well. He just always pushes us to be our best. And he's, he's encouraging us to just practice those skills constantly. He's, he like encourages us to go in the backyard and just throw behind the backs or mm-hmm. like, just, just like, skills. yeah, just like go out and throw, like shoot a bucket of balls. Like hit he's, yeah, hit the wall. Um, we had, had this thing when we first joined the club called soft hands that he did. Mm-hmm. And it's where it's like a different form of um, stick work where you're right up against the wall and you're hitting the wall, like probably what, like a foot away and you're like doing it really quickly. And it kind of just like, that was like the first kind of stick work thing we did with him. So I think it's just like a, he's been like, just what, what would you say? Like, I don't know. He's just encouraged like all of our players to work on their stick skills. Yeah, like big emphasis on stick skills. That's really what makes you a great player is mm-hmm. being able to handle that's the ball. That's true. Yeah, working on the stick skills and the fundamentals are key for being successful in this game. And you see it today with a lot of the kids that aren't working on the fundamentals and aren't getting to where they want to go. But it seems like you ladies have done a great job with in the classroom and also on the lacrosse field to get where you are going now. And uh, just wanted to, you know, I, I got into the, you guys going to the schools you're going to from the red shirts and Maryville, but just, and we're in this pandemic time, just talk about how tough the recruiting process was for both of you. And uh, with September 1st, waiting for that point to come and what was going through your heads leading up to that date. Well, I think, honestly, we all thought that the date was going to be changed. Um, that was the impression we got, but we knew that um, video was going to be so important. Um, I feel like we each have, like, 10 highlight yeah. videos on our um, – Yeah, I saw them. They were really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> on our recruiting profiles, just because we knew that video was just going to be so essential for this year. Yep. Um it was, it was tough knowing that we weren't going to have coaches on our sidelines over the summer, but we kind of just adapted and it ended up um, not being like terribly difficult and, you know, just continuing to email coaches and obviously it worked out for us. So. Yeah, I think definitely on um, the highlight reels were an important part of this process, especially this year, now that like the dead period has been extended. And I think um, without having highlights and video film, it's 
definitely a big advantage to have it. And I think it's a really important part of the process this year. All right. What do, you, what do all three of you want to do when you all grow up and get out of college? <laughs> do you want to stick with lacrosse or are you looking to pursue other careers and um, passions? Well, I am interested in architecture or engineering, something like that, because I've always liked subjects like that, like art, science, those are kind of my favorites. So I think that goes well with architecture and engineering. Um, I'm really interested in physical therapy. Um, I want to work with injured athletes um, to kind of, you know, just read the, have them back into it just because last summer I did have to go to PT for um, an injury from lacrosse and I just really liked what they did there and I kind of, I would love to like pay it forward to athletes who need assistance and just getting back into it. And so, yeah, I'm really interested in that. And I'm not playing lacrosse in college, but I will yeah, go okay. to medical school. That's my goal. What school? Uh, or I go to medical school. I go to medical school. Okay, great. And uh, we could use good doctors right now. So, <laughs> so that's great, <laughs> Alex. And uh, um, sounds like you ladies have some great passions and some great goals. And that's great to hear. And uh, just finally, just uh, wanted to let you take the platform here and just send out any uh, thank yous or um, who you want to thanks, thank your parents or anyone your coaches for getting you here. Just go into that real quick. That'd be great. Um, definitely my coaches. Um, they're kind of the reason why I have improved since joining red shirts. And mm -hmm. so coach Dave and coach Sean, um, they've been a really big part of like my development as a player. Mm -hmm. And then we'd all also like to thank our parents because without them, we wouldn't be here at this point because they've just supported us throughout this whole process. And mm -hmm. I think that was really important to getting us to where we got. Yeah, I would agree. Just um, our both what Courtney said with our um, parents, um, they have obviously we wouldn't be at this point without them because they've they've gotten up early, take us to tournaments. They've done everything like possible just to help us get to this point. And with the same thing with Coach Dave, just putting in the like maximum amount of effort to help us. So I really like to thank him. And I just wanted to say that Lauren and Courtney have both worked really hard to get where they are now. They've done everything and beyond of what they need to do to get recruited. So I just wanted to say I'm proud of them for oh, their accomplishments. That's awesome. Well, thank you, ladies, Savage Girls. I appreciate you coming on today. Alex, Lauren, and Courtney, thanks for coming on the Peace Lax blog. Uh, our first interview here on Zoom. We're going to have some more coming up in the future, but we wanted to start this off with a, a bang with uh, these great sisters and girls that are going off to play Division One lacrosse. And uh, Alex is going to try to pursue her passion in med school, which is awesome. So thank you, ladies. Have a great day and uh, best of luck uh, this, this school year. And uh, uh, go uh, Maryville. Yeah, thank thanks you. for having thank us. You. Thanks for right. having Have a good one. Bye. Bye.